Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. I'm going to be giving away a titanium white octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. If you would like to enter, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, drop a like on the video, and then finally head over to the Discord server. The link is in the description down below, and then just go to the giveaway section and make sure to react with the party emoji. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video in episode 30 of trading from nothing all the way up to the alpha cap. I honestly can't believe we're at episode 30 already. It's going really quickly. I'm trading every day to get these videos out to you. Right now there is a white octane giveaway going on the discord. Make sure to join up as well. But anyway, we're just going to hop straight into the trades. I hope you do enjoy this episode as well. But let's get into the first trade of episode 30. In the last video, what I did was I sold absolutely everything in my inventory so that we could start fresh and buy some new items in just because I was getting bored having the same hard to sell items in my inventory so I spent around a day just trying to get rid of everything and now we're starting to buy some items back so in the inventory right now I have a white standard which I think we bought for 1k that will sell on uh, and gets about 100 credits profit we've got a couple of dices cobalt carbonator as well in the first trade we are going to be picking up a crimson octane for 100 credits below the minimum value and with octanes they're really high in demand so I'm going to be trying to get the mid value so 1.6k and if I do get that I'll be getting 200 credits profit which is perfect but, um, yeah, so I do have three hard to sell items in my inventory right now. That is going to be both of the Dices and also the Cobalt Carbonator. I think I bought the Carbonator for around maybe 700 credits, I think it was. It's valued at 1.7k minimum, so we're going to try and sell it on for 1.7k. It will take ages because it's impossible to sell, but eventually we'll get that. And, uh, yeah, we also do manage to pick up a Jordan Dragons, uh, a Cobalt Jordan Dragons, rather, which is valued at 2.4k, and then also a Purple Octane. So, we paid 2.4k for both. The, uh, the Jordan Dragons alone is worth 2.4k, so if we sell, uh, so whatever we sell the Purple Octane for, that is going to just be pure profit, and I'm going to try and sell it for 700 credits, because that is the mid-value once again, Octane's high in demand. So, yeah, we'll try and get 700 for the Octane, and also 2.4k for that Jordan. So, if we sell both of them, another 700 credits profit. Also, picked up a sky blue fennec for 450 again that's going to be 150 credits below the minimum value we're going to be trying to sell that on for 600 which is minimum and uh yeah that'll be another 150 credits profit not bad whatsoever um but honestly, that Cobalt Jordan Dragons trade with the Octane was so good. Uh, even though the Jordan Dragons is going to be really hard to sell, all I need to do is sell it for the minimum value and we can basically get a profit. So uh, not bad whatsoever. We're also picking up a Sky Blue Standard. Again, 150 credits below the minimum value. Now, just like Octane, standards are very high in demand. So they're going to be really easy to sell. And for this reason, I'm going to be trying to get the mid value, which is 600 credits, I think. Maybe 550. But if we do that, we'll be getting anywhere between 200 and 250 credits profit, which again is perfect i'm trying to make at least 100 credits profit per trade just so that we're advancing at a decent pace uh, but we do manage to sell on both the fennec and the sky blue standard which is going to be 1.1k minimum for a black interstellar valued at 200 credits more 1.3k it's going to be a little bit hard to sell but honestly back, uh, black is a good color so i don't think it should take too long and um We'll be getting 200 credits profit when we do sell that on. And also Sky Blue Fennec, I'm not sure if it's that easy to sell. So again, selling both of those items on, trading in the, uh, trading both of them in for one is going to be better as well. We're going to have to sell those items separately again, saving me time. Another really easy trade I mentioned in uh, the video before where I was saying how, uh, how to make really easy profit. Buy high demand items for a little bit below the minimum value. Uh, Dissolver, in my experience at least, is really easy to sell, at least for the minimum value. So I'm going to be trying to get the minimum value and easily 100 credits profit just like that we're also going to be picking up a black standard i really tried to do 2.1k just because i'll be getting a little bit more profit obviously if i'm underpaying by a little bit more but uh we did pay 2150 um which is 150 below the minimum value i'm not sure if black standards do go for the mid value right now so i'm not sure if i did sell this on for either the minimum or the mid but um either way i'm going to be trying at least to get the mid value just because obviously standards high in demand um i don't know if I, uh, like i said i don't know if i'll be able to get that uh but yeah, other standards should be pretty easy to sell for the mid value, maybe titanium white, sky blue, crimson, those sort of colours. We're also picking up a pink octane and sky blue zombies. I know they added up to 1.2k minimum value and we're paying 1k, which is really good again. I'll try and sell the octane for the mid value, which I think is 550. Um, 
and then the sky uh, and then the sky blue uh, zomba rather is going to be 700 credits that adds up to 1250 uh, so i'll be getting 250 credits profit which again is not bad whatsoever but the inventory was looking pretty full at this point so i did start to sell some items on i don't want the inventory to get too many items in it because if that happens then it'll just become harder to sort of manage and uh yeah it just won't look as great but we do sell on the sky blue uh sorry the white standard for orange dicey orange dicey are 1.8k again they're going to be extremely hard to sell but it's 800 credits more at minimum value than the uh than the standard so uh, if we do sell it on for the minimum value we're going to be getting 800 credits profit which is really good but like i mentioned it is very very hard to sell so that's going to be sitting in the inventory for probably a while and it also is quite expensive so uh i don't really want to be buying too many items that are too expensive and just having them stuck in my inventory because then i won't really have too many credits to work with but we also do manage to sell on the pink octane 550 credits like i mentioned earlier that is going to be the mid value i found this through rl trading post if you haven't already make sure to download rl garage and rl trading post just from the app store they're really good apps uh, uh, they're specified for rocket league trading i i think it's best to sell items on there it's not great for making profit just because loads of people on there know a lot about trading they're not really likely to sell their items below the minimum value you might want to try it out but in my experience i haven't really been able to buy items it's just better for selling list all the items you've got with the price that you want for them just make sure to keep refreshing your post and hopefully you will get someone interested we do also sell on the dissolver 800 credits like i mentioned earlier bought it for 700 100 below the minimum value easily flip for the uh for the minimum value getting 100 credits profit also selling on the black interstellar i'm pretty sure i got the minimum value again i think this was through rl trading post i find rl trading post is better than rl garage i'm not really sure why because i felt like rl garage was more popular but either way in my experience right now rl trading post is quite a bit better than uh than garage i don't actually think i've sold any items from the past few episodes on garage it's been either xbox looking for group or rl training post the majority of the time i use xbox looking for group just because there's so many people on uh that are active on there that just want to trade and i find that that is really good for trade and rl training post is still good but uh if you are on xbox make uh just use the looking for group post because they're really good we sell on the crimson octane 1550 i did try and get 1.6k but i wasn't able to so we just sold it on there getting 1550 the same guy again got in another trade and i sold on my purple octane i did try and get 700 i wasn't really able to but still getting a little bit more than the minimum value still showing that uh, they do have a decent demand and considering this guy both uh, bought both of them uh, literally back to back, it saved me a lot of time and I won't have to sell those items separately to other traders. So even though I'm getting maybe 100 credits less than what I would have wanted from both items, I'm selling them both together so I can just move on quickly and buy more items back. And, uh, and uh, yeah, this guy was also trying to give me a pink Honda Civic. I didn't really want it, um, so I asked for him to take it out. Um, I think he does, but again, we are going to be picking up a Crimson Octane for 1400 credits just like i did at the start of the video uh, and i also mentioned that it's 100 credits below the minimum value we're going to be trying to sell it on for mid but like the one we've just sold i got 1550 so we might not be able to get the mid value but i'm, I'm at least going to try and get a little bit more than the minimum just because if i'm getting a little bit more for every item that will add up and i will get a very decent amount but the inventory is looking very solid we still do have loads of hard to sell items uh literally the first five items are going to be very very hard to sell but but if I just keep on working on selling them, if I'm listing them up on RO Garage, RO Trading Post, eventually I will get them sold. We're also going to be selling on the Sky Blue Zombies for the minimum value, 700. I bought them. Uh, I bought both the Sky Blue Zombies and the Pink Octane together for 100 credits below the minimum each. So again, we're getting 100 credits profit here. Another really easy flip, and that is going to bring us to the end of the episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I have actually tried to make this episode a little bit longer than the other ones a few of you have been asking for 10 minute uh, videos or longer obviously that will mean that i've got to trade a little bit more but if uh, if you guys prefer the videos i'm down to do it also there are a couple giveaways going on right now in the discord i think the crimson octane is actually going to finish as soon as this goes up but the white octane giveaway has started in there and that's got another six days left on it so make sure to join up if you do want to enter that giveaway comment alpha cap if you have made it this far in the video as well but that's it from me and i'll see you in the next one peace out for the love inside me, inside me